folks, we are at Simon Expo and uh, we are going to play a song of ice and fire. This is my partner in crime, Nathan. Howdy. Who I dragged along. And this is Michael Chanel, designer of A Song of Ice and Fire, the tabletop miniature game, the one we gushed about last year. And you wrote about it on Geek and Sundry. I made a video about it saying it's amazing. And, uh, and we're going to show you just how amazing it is. Why don't you set the scene of what we're going to be playing and what we need to do to win? What I need to do to win? <laughs> <laughs> so on special request by someone, we have let a certain someone here choose their uh, start commander, and we have, and she, I wonder if that narrows it down right. a bit, <laughs> has chosen Eddard Stark, the Lord of Winterfell. And then on the other side, strangely enough, uh, someone chose the Mountain, uh, Gregor right. Clegane, to uh, <laughs> lead this fight. <laughs> so we have a very tactical uh, army commander versus... Uh, the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whose strategy is uh, car get them. Yep, yeah, get them. Carve their skulls in. So, this specific game mode we're going to be playing here is a Clash of Kings. Uh, this is the most combat focused of all the uh, the five different game modes that we offer. In this one, you guys are going to be vying for control of these center objectives and trying to just kill each other. But the twist here is that only half of your armies are going to be starting in play. The rest are going to be uh, coming in via reserves mm. uh, throughout the game. And they get to deploy uh, from your table edge or off the sides of battlefields, depending on which these objectives you have controlled. Oh, fascinating. Flanking, that's real. It's a thing. Movement matters. I am so excited. Uh, let's, let's get into it. All right, this is a bog. If you charge through it, you have to roll two dice and take the lowest result. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are two spike walls. They're very easy to do. Once you, if you move over them, you suffer D3 wounds, and then they are destroyed. This right here is a palisade. You actually just can't move through it straight up. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a corpse file. If you're within short range of it, you suffer minus one to any of your morale test rolls. Oh, uh, so that's bad for me. That's bad, <laughs> that's bad for everyone. The Starks have better morale than you, though. But Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm I have, I have a unit. That's All right, fearless. You ready? Boom. Important dice roll. Way to wreck. Ah! <laughs> you're talking <laughs> shit, and you fail. It's like someone might have rolled really hot for immortals That's or a something. Different dice, yeah. Dude, dude not dark age. Not, not dark, dark age. age. <laughs> All right. Your choice. Um, I have choice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, we found uh, we found the Jared dice. We found the Jared dice. <laughs> um, so I'm so gonna draw pull my hands. one, <laughs> two, three. Oh, just to go over for this specific game mode. The deployments were. Uh, long range on squares and then one unit on each with the caveat that you had to deploy your commander. Gotcha. So just to catch you guys up there. Fabulous. Okay, so we are looking at... So with the initiative... Um... So you won. Yeah. You have the first player okay. marker. Yes. Uh, at the start of each round, that will shift to the opponent, so it's never going to be a random roll-off. You're always going to know who's going to start the round. Yes. Okay. So I will activate... I want, I want control of that, but the mountain's all, all over there and really scary. Um, so, movement is five, four on the shield wall tullies. I'm going to try to skirt this way since we have some impassable terrain over there. Should we just run over the spikes? <laughs> Should just yeah. run over the spikes, right? I'm going to... Tully way. <laughs> tully way out! So we pivot on, on the center, right? Yes. Um, and then I'm going to move forward four inches. Oh, maybe I can run. Uh, oh, no, I have to pivot, then move speed, then pivot. Okay, I'll do that. And then march as you move uh, directly forward twice your speed, and then you can pivot. Okay. I will go four inches. Well, she's going right toward the sphere, uh, our spike wall. Maybe I'll she's pivot She's taking a my advice. More. I love it. I'll pivot a little bit done. more. <laughs> Just go through it. <laughs> Just go through it. Oh. There we go. And so that is my activation. Already. And they can pivot after that as well. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm going to pivot a little more this way, and we'll go. And then we have the activation tokens on the unit cards there. You can just place that on the tray to show that they've gone. This one here. Boom. Boom. Awesome. Oh. I... So these are always on just by claiming it? Yes. Well, they're triggered effects. They happen when you claim the zone. But you might have tactics cards that actually are... Bolstered by controlling different zones. Yes. The Nothing land... that's relevant right now because we're so far away, but I'm just wondering, like, if I did this, 
draw two tactic cards and place uh, any one condition on an enemy unit. Could I just place the condition now and it stays until I spend it? So condition tokens stay on the enemy unit until the opponent expends them. So if you place a panic token on cool. enemy, that's until so you draw two tactic it. cards. All right, that's full of win. And I think that Eddard's unit will be vulnerable. Mm. To crossbowmen? To face. anything I want to death. <laughs> to dying. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going. I think I have a plan here. I am going to. I might. There might be a plan. Uh, I'm going to do a march. I'm going to march with the honor guard. They move okay. five? That what? is the greatest like narrative effect. <laughs> I love that card so much. Uh, and I'm going to move twice my speed, which is five. <sighs> Winter is coming. And pre-measuring, yes. Fully allowed for any reason. We are not carpenters. Mm. All right, so that won't work. Got it. Yes. Yet. Oh no no no! I'm 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 aware of the yet. <laughs> um. So let's do a maneuver. So I'm going to pivot. Yes. Give me your flank, please. I'm gonna move my five, and then I'm gonna pivot. And have some options, because let's just make sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'm far enough away from the body pile. <laughs> If I'd known that she was just going to run into it, maybe I would have uh, panicked her instead. Well, unfortunately, that unit is immune to panic. Oh, got it. Well, then I'm glad I picked vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Um, all right, so I am going to. Um, what do we have here? And I'm assuming line of sights are just our. So we actually have notches on each of these trays here that denote your line of sight arcs. So you have Perfect. your front, sides, and then rear. Perfect. I am going to... So with the units, you can activate them... Once per round. Once per round. So the last yeah. activation for this round will be Roderick Cassini. Roderick, yeah. One enemy unit must make a paddock test and suffer a minus one to their roll. And those crossbowmen... Seem okay. like the bodies, they can smell the bodies over So I have there. to roll high, right? Yes, so anything you roll below a 9, you're going to suffer 1 wound for. So when I roll 2, I'm about to lose 7 guys, is what you're saying? Mathematically, every time, yes. Got it. 7? No, because it's okay. 8 plus, right? So am I going to lose 1 for the 7? The effect gives you a minus, minus one. 1. Okay, so, so it's, it's effectively a 6. Okay. Perfect. All according to a plan. Two brave Lannister crossmen were like, we're fighting against the Lord of Winterfell. Bye! Bye. <laughs> you don't pay us enough. Urgh, it's cold up here. All right. All right. Ah, yes. The mountain. Mountain. The mountain. Well, I want to go do things. So he... Will be an objective claimer, right? Just yeah. let him sit on the objective. Smart way. So how do I claim the objective? You, if any part of your tray is over it, then you have claimed it. And then I pivot, because of a march. Why? All right, and that is the end of round one, as everything is activated. Yes. Awesome. So all the activation tokens will come off. The oh. non-combat character should clear off the board. Those, but whoops. <laughs> And first I, player will... I stay vulnerable, though, right? Oh, yes. yeah, until that I spend it. Until you, have, until you remove it via some means, or he uses it. Gotcha. And, and you can discard whatever tactics cards you want from your hand. You'll draw back up until you have three. Uh, noting you can discard... But I wouldn't but you draw, draw, because right. I already got, like, half of my deck in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then first player will pass over to Nathan. Dear Honorable Nathan. Dear Honorable, Honorable Lannisters. Mm. They're scheming afoot. Scheming this afoot. is the scheming face. <laughs> okay, well. 
Yeah. Just for the sake of consistency, we'll take the first player marker. Oh, yes. From, take it. Okay. So charge is move Thanks. speed plus d6. And what is their move speed? Four or five? Their move speed is five. Which means that... Maybe on a six or mathematically impossible. One of the two. Maybe on a six. I just don't want to stand up and look. But it's either 11 on the dot or 11 and a bit. So, um... I'll give it to you at 11 if you can roll five. Uh, well, yeah, because I'm charging <laughs> you, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> no, no, and the corpse file is rough as well, so it's conveying a minus one speed if you move through it. Oh, okay. In which case, I'm going to do this so she can't. And I'm going to restore up to three wounds. And now uh, she cannot remove that condition. Oh. Well, that allows you to remove the condition from our front of the unit. Oh. No, 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 I know, but that's why by claiming oh, gotcha, it, yes. she can't, can't take, it. take it off. With Denial. My point. You are correct. That was what You're I wanted. You're technically correct. The best kind of correct. The best kind of correct. I will. So they're fearless, which means that that's garbage so on them. Go ahead and read him the uh, the fearless rule if you would. Fearless. This unit never suffers penalties to morale and may never become panicked. Oh, okay. No, that's good then. Um, if I... So in terms of bringing reserves in, what does that look like? So now it is round two. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Okay. Uh, to deploy a reserve, you... That's the unit's activation of the round, mm -hmm. is you're either going to place them somewhere within long range of your table edge, mm -hmm. or if you controlled one of these objectives, the corresponding uh, opposite flank. Okay. And noting that that is not static for the round, that is whoever currently controls it. So if you lose control of it later in the round, you lose the ability to deploy for that So, round. hypothetical. I get that objective, which it looks like she can't stop me from doing. Long range. I can't just deploy into her flank. You yeah, absolutely can. All right. Well, you can't deploy into combat with them because the only way you can actually get into combat with them is via charge. charge but you can absolutely deploy just like boom right here. Got it. This that was more my question was can I just be like hello? Yes. Hello. <laughs> this uh, this game mode gets incredibly bloody, bloody in battle of <laughs> chaos immediately. I love it, it's and that's why the units can just respawn because y yes, they're gonna units are gonna die pretty pretty quick. That's actually. Again, it's a trade-off yeah. for taking Edder in this one, because he's got a big, tanky, good unit, mm -hmm. but that's a character unit. It does yeah. not come back. It does not come back. I am going to... But noting that unit only exists in an army led by him. You maneuver. Does Tywin have a similar unit, because no. he's the Lord of Casterly Rock? Okay. I will say, though, that... um, They... Uh... I've already have future plans though that the, you have a mounted version of him. That so there are the Knights of Casterly Rock, which yes. is the one the big cavalry for them. One of the, the units that I have name pending, but I have made is the uh, the. Oh, uh, are you activating them? I am going to do this. Okay. One friendly unit may make a free maneuver or retreat action, and so when we hit the rough terrain, it gets halved. It's minus one to your speed for moving into it, so they only oh. move four into it. Yeah, I got, I got, I got this boss. But another unit that I've been looking at is uh, making the Sentinels of Casterly Rock, basically like the, the guardsmen for it. Oh, that, that's cool. And um, then we'll have a, like, same thing here. We have House Club Game keyword. You'll have Casterly Rock keyword off that. Awesome. Oh, that's that's, that's so, amazing. Yep, yeah, that's so far looking in the future. Oh, yeah, no. I, <laughs> yeah. But, but again, like, you know, when you have source material like this, it's very much a, hey, we've got to plan. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so what I... Planning in general is good. Yeah, so I'm going to activate this unit here, and I am going to make an attack action. So the first thing I'm going to do is shift. And I can't change facing on the shift? Right, shift is just, it's it's not a pivot, it's yep. just move in the that's, direction. That's why I assume so I tried to keep it. Um, and then, pew pew! And so when you're checking range, mm -hmm. oh, just to see if you are in range, it is always from that Center. point there, but you're touching so it is. Perfect. So when you're checking ranges, measure to see if you're in range and line of sight, which obviously if one is true, the other is going to be. All right. So, so are you expending the vulnerable token? Uh, that is actually only done after, after you roll your dice. Oh, no. Conditions are nasty. <laughs> so now would be the point where if you have anything that says when an enemy makes a melee attack, or sorry, a range or an attack, mm -hmm. same thing with you. This is when those triggers will be played. Mm -hmm. yeah, not, not with mine, but it's that was why I was asking, like, oh, are you activating them? And she's like, no, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am looking for three plus 
on seven dice, so you can expect a good old mm -hmm. one success. I'll take that. So Ooh. that is five successes, and I have Sundering, which is going to be minus one to your defense dice. Four plus is my shield. So um, that's down to a five plus. Oh, the three plus. Oh, three. it's a three plus to a four plus. Three plus to a four plus, and I roll how many? Five. Five. Ooh. All right. Um. And I will use the vulnerable, and you can reroll your three successes. Arr! There. Three dead. Three. <clears throat> Goodbye, friends. I'll take it. I'll think of you fondly. <laughs> and since they were attacked, now they will suffer a panic test. Now they would usually suffer a minus one, but that is a fearless unit, so... Uh, and they have a six plus. Oh, when they. Oh, but so that's the roll which Fearless would cancel, right? Yes, got it. You could play it, but it would be entirely useless. Well, you, I, I would be banking. On, oh, but they can't become. So yeah, you're right. Entirely useless. Got it. But you also roll double ones. And what's their? What, oh, what's their morale? Six, so six. that's four more. Four yep. more. Ouch! You know what Eddard Stark's un honor guard really hate? Eddard Stark's. Crossbow, Crossbow bolts. Crossbow bolts. <laughs> what are these? This is not snow falling from the sky. <laughs> Ugh. All right, well, that, that went way Horrifying. better than I thought it would. I did not right. like that even over, a little bit. Over to you. Um. I So even though I have that, that's ignored because of Fearless, right? Yes. Okay. But that wouldn't be if it got it. Right. Uh, Maybe I'll just pay better. We pay better. We pay better. I would like to bring in a unit uh, off of that sideboard from okay. reserve. And I would like to bring in Oh, I know where you're putting it. Before he can claim an objective and flank me and wipe off so, my character unit. That's an enemy combat unit that's activating, is it not? Yes. By all means, put them down. What does the card say? <laughs> feel, feel free. I mean, that is not what I thought that you were going to do, but Movement okay. It matters. And um, back so, attacks matter. you must now. Pass a morale test, but because I have that, you will suffer minus two to your roll. <sighs> oh. And then there's bad things if you fail. No! Which you don't, because that's an eight, even with my modifier. <laughs> morale is womp, womp. good, but... I always enjoy hearing people that are like, you know, Lancers have too many panic and, mor and morale affecting stuff. Like, again, that's, that's how they win. That's yeah. how they win. Blue no. Magic has counter spells. So. <laughs> right? Yeah. right? Absolutely. <laughs> Okay. Right. Um, over. Do you like how this map is set up? Because it looks like they're just gushing through the water. Yeah, it's like bah, bah, bah. the seahorses. Seahorses. <laughs> All right. So they're just gonna make a maneuver, so that way I can walk five inches. And then pivot. And then pivot. Whoop! And because you're over there, you can't really charge me. So I feel happy. Can't eat another round of crossbowmen, eh? You know, I think you can. <laughs> You're not trying hard <laughs> enough, Terry. Because really, the crossbowmen didn't do jack. Your snake eyes is what really roughed that unit up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they still have two ranks, so... Don't I know it. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to... Let's see if my Johnny Carson here is spot on. Swift advance. Lead by example with okay. Eddard Stark. Okay. I'm not going to die. Do that. Do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. No. You you seem to assume that I am not not one of those people who are like, yeah, you're gonna die, so you might as well do something before you do. Uh lead by example. On a start of friendly turn, 
Edward Stark's unit must be selected to activate. Their melee attacks uh, roll plus two dice this turn after activation. Uh, one other friendly unit within long range may immediately activate as well. Their melee attacks uh, roll plus two dice this turn. Oh, yeah, long range. Oh, no, long range is far. Damn. Okay. Damn it. Okay, I misread that. But uh, I get plus two dice on this one, and I might as well make the most of it. I am, I've got to roll my my speed plus. So is this the, the center? center? Mar- center like, where, where are we measuring for a ch- potential charge? Is it's it- a, that's contact. So she's going to make a move action. If she contacts you at any point, then oh. she it's a successful charge. So my move action takes me... Oh, like that card is making the move action? Because uh, no, the that, charge is move speed plus yeah, D6. That card is actually like useless to play. Right oh, now. I can't charge with it. That's but what it is. You can take a charge action. Okay. Which is that, what that card does is allows you to activate another unit in addition to Edward's Gotcha. I, I, okay, so I totally misplayed that. Well, um, so I'm declaring that charge at the very least. So closest to closest, I assume? Yeah, it's, as long as she's moving and contacting. So, so it looks like a 10, but you're okay. still in the bodies, which is the mi- the rough, which is going to be minus 1. She so you're going to need a 6. Nah! I move 9, though. Well, that's uh, still the minus 1, so you'd be so moving eight, 7. 7. Ooh. Well, because they're speed 5, right? Speed five. Yeah, so you'll be moving 7. 7. Uh, let's go from here to here. Right off that objective. Right off the objective. But how you doing? Dude. So, when I do come in up to long range... Short range of the flank edges. Short range of the flank or edges. Long, or long of your... Got it. Um, can I be in any facing I want, or do I have to be coming off? No, it's you just place them Got within it. short range. You have to be an inch, uh, an inch away from the enemy, though. How do you do? One one game unit. Yes, one gaming unit. <laughs> there one, you go. one one Westerosi dragon. <laughs> one Westerosi. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure, my already not amazing leadership is lower, but I like being behind you. Oh. Okay. I am going to... I know what I would do. I just know what I would do. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Mm. I am going to... March with this unit. I'm going to go eight and then I'm going to pivot. Get on center. I mean, I'm not going to give gift you a flank. Why not? <laughs> that would be really kind. Kindness matters. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Um, activated, activated, activated. Activated, activated. You're all activated up? I am. You can bring your archers on. If you I would like. I can't, unless I put, pull them on. You know what? Your backboard edge? My backboard edge, where your backs are facing? The backs are technically facing a wall. The backs are technically facing a wall. Um, Let me check something right quick. So I'm pretty sure that's an objective. It's actually worth two victory points. Oh, the center? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My brain is telling me that. Because I remember it was at one point, and I don't remember why we would have ever changed it to not. I'm going to... So it's six inches forward, or is it, was it 12? Is the deployment thing? It's your long, oh, range. long range. Oh, sweet. Yeah, okay. So the whole thing. You know what? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to. I 
I'm gonna put. So when it says long range, that just means that that's my maximum range. Okay, so I was just like, do I have to get get back into long range? Nope. And so my good to hear it. Boy, these guys, and they're gonna go right there. Cool. Activations. Thank you. And so Nathan is going to score one victory point for controlling that objective. Yeah. Or you can use the victory point tokens. Oh, hey. That's even better. I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, the ones with numbers on them. So we draw up to three again? Yep. You can discard wherever you want and then draw until you have three. Mm. Okay. I am going to... Wait. So I'm going to bound three, and I am going to I'm going to play with Roderick this one again. One enemy unit must make a paddock test and suffers minus one cool. to their roll. Cool. Um, now, noting that when you um, when Roderick plays, you actually take his card and oh, you yes. equip it to a unit because they will gain oh, yes. critical blow until the end of the round. Well then, oh. I gotta equip it. I, can I equip it to a character unit already? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'll take that. Uh, I will. So you will roll with them. With my crossbow again? Yes, and I will also play sudden charge. When I claim any well, zone, uh, on the tactics board. Oh, go ahead. Uh, read read the effect of that. Uh. One friendly unit may make a free charge. Uh, oh, the first, the first sentence on the card. Uh, you may replace. Oh, I may replace the zone. You're right. She so replaces the effect of the zone, zone with that. So you don't. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. So. I mean, I aced it anyway. You aced it but anyway. it doesn't matter. Okay. Womp womp. Uh, so I'm gonna charge you, there. And get in, get into that. Uh, stand and shoot. Stand and shoot. <laughs> So roll your dice because on a one you don't get charge bonuses. Right. <laughs> but you're gonna make it. I will so, make it. I can't remember. We just half half season. She right? can line up to fifty percent or a hundred percent. She has she the choice. To. Where do you yeah. want to be? I think I would like a hundred percent because that also scoots my board and possibly fails you a charge if you have to go through the bog. When you have to test for that, don't you? Yeah, but I don't get to make a pivot with a charge. Oh, you do. It's, you do. Oh, it's just not on here? Well, it's because the re I actually, in future printings, it will be. But the reason it's not listed on there is because you have to have line of sight of your target to start the action. Oh, and if you okay. had to pivot on there, people were thinking that you could just turn Sorry. around. Got it. So okay. this still. Yes. Still okay Legit. because. Line of sight. Yes. Yeah. I can still see. So mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Got it. That's good. Good to know. Um, <clears throat> now, unfortunately, because you did do a disorderly charge, yeah. you don't get charge rerolls, and you can't play tactics cards till the end of the round. Okay. But please note that Eddard has an order that just triggered as well. Yes. When this uh, unit makes an immediate attack, one friendly unit within one long range may restore up to two wounds. So his? His. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Units are always within range of themselves. Perfect. So I will put them there. Hey, those guys that ran away came back. Yeah. Like, well, we just love killing. Well, right? Love killing. <laughs> and um, I'm going to... Um, so you, I get critical bowl, blow, and I have... How uh, many attacks here? I'm down to two ranks. Yep. So I roll seven. Is it seven dice? Mm -hmm. It's yellow with number. Okay. Six, seven. I'm looking for four plus. Okay. Balls of six, two wounds. Good. good to know. <laughs> oh no! That's three. Oh no! And I'm fine. <laughs> really nice to know those cross <laughs> Wow, those are like <laughs> solid. They're like, mm, man. I don't we think it's so much that they were good. So much as these guys really were worried about getting crossbow bolts, which is why they tripped into combat. <laughs> yeah, I know we're like talking about source material here, where Eddard's honor guard was kind of 
incredibly incompetent in King's Landing. <laughs> 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 oh it is really, it's really capturing the narrative. All right, so your activation. Oh, that was terrible. Indeed it is. <laughs> and the metal is just like, hey. hey. So do I just have to make closest closest, or do I have to make it up to a model? No, so the way, the, the trays are what's important. Um, okay. Basically, when you declare your charge, you're going to declare them as a target. You'll pivot, and then you'll move. As long as that move brings you in contact then that's a successful charge. Okay. So if they are in, they test for the panic from being near near the... That's, it just oh, gives a minus one, one to the roll. Minus one to the roll. But like, so for example, in this case, the reason you wouldn't pivot any further is because then you'd hit that. Yes, and I do not want that at all. And so five plus five is 10, ten. so well You're in. well in. So I go straight. Boom. And then you would line up 50% or 100. And there's really nothing there for that. And Edward's and then, just surrounded <clears throat> by... So then I get the chance, so now I'm making a melee attack, so I'm going to mm -hmm. play Fury of the Mountain. Sure. So now I gain Critical Blow, like you had. However, because it's a House Clegane unit, Critical Blow on fives. Ouch! And I have a... No, I did not begin the turn. Nope. Alright, so I'm going to get eight. Because Mountain's Men. Mountain's Men. And I am looking for threes. Oh my gosh! Look at so that's gonna be pieces. two, four, <laughs> six, eight, ten, no. eleven, twelve, and I don't think that dice is part of it. No, that was the uh, four, eight. Yeah. So you take twelve wounds. You actually uh, on the charge because you didn't oh. too early charge you get rerolls. Still, I know that is any dice you could reroll. Doesn't have you to want be. Want to reroll the threes and four? You know. I feel like 12 wounds on a unit with seven guys is... And the fact that you hit them on the flanks, so they're minus one to their defense saves. Defense saves. Mm. 12? Yes. I don't have enough dice for that. How many dice do you have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 11. <laughs> Here, have the one that rolled a one and then a one. <laughs> <laughs> and they say... They say chivalry is dead. It's Mother's <laughs> Day. Yeah. yeah. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> oh, wow. That no, was really don't good. roll the D3. Because that's just... Oh, that's a D3? Oh, okay. So roll one of... So so far you failed three, which is outstanding. <laughs> and roll another one. Oh, roll. Just roll one of your fails again. So three. Three. That's... That's legit. Because yeah. I pounded you with that. And now it's time for a panic test, which oh. if she double ones this... <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Six. Which Morale is, is six. They're fine because they don't suffer penalties. Yeah. The honor guard holds strong, although they are in no way in a good position. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. All right. That was your activation. Yeah, that was my first. Over to you. All right. <laughs> Just some uh, pro tip: I might suggest activating the honor guard before they get dead. Yeah, I think I should. Oh, didn't they activate, they activate it with, first? The, with the chart? Oh, no, no because that was... Mm -hmm. Ah, that's clever. All right, I'll activate them again, and they are... And because they, uh, they are at one rank, their start fear ability they can activate for free without suffering any damage for doing so. Yes! <laughs> okay, um, and... Uh, okay. Do... I don't activate this twice, though, because I... Orders are once per round. Once per round, perfect. Um, so... Plus one to hit critical blow. Uh, it does the attacks with my own. It's a first three. Alright, so. Plus one to hit. So I need threes. I roll six dice. Any cool cards? <laughs> Pardon? I don't know. Yeah, not kidding. Uh. Nope. Nothing now it's a matter of who you want to attack as well, because you've got some choices here. Oh, uh, what are the, what's the defense on your crossbowmen versus the five plus on crossbows, four plus on the mountain men? What's the morale on both of them? Seven on mountain, eight on crossbows. Let's go into the mountain then. I might have if I uh, if I'm attacking into my flank though. There's no penalties. There's no penalties. Okay. Yeah. The crossbowmen can't shoot 
in mm -hmm. combat, right? Oh, I can shoot into a combat if I were to spend a turn retreating, retreating. and then another turn shooting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, like, I'm going to be well dead before that, so I'm not worried about sure. that. Sure. I'll go into the guys with the big swords. Okay. Uh, I hit on threes now. Okay. And six was your critical teams. blows, two. Cool. Two, four, six, eight. So, am I Terry lucky on armor saves? Because 12... <laughs> Should have wiped you up. Your attack roll was not probable. Yeah, and your armor save rolls were <laughs> equally <laughs> improbable because I hit on threes and you saved on fours. <laughs> I gotta say that Edward's been having a rough game. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he's not feeling great. So, um, no modifiers, just my four plus. Listen, I'm playing tactic co tactics cards poorly. So the way that Edward, three. Edward plays the Game of Thrones. So, mm -hmm. I'm playing in the role mm -hmm. whereas you're being tactical and flanking and stuff and that's not the amount i feel like you're not sticking with the narrative here anything here's a panic test for you and minus one because that corpse pile yeah it is so i'm gonna need a six no an eight sorry i just i i had to modify seven i just did it the wrong way i love it they're activated i can't we didn't really like those guys anyway mm. <laughs> More pay for us. Right? All right. Over to me? Over to you. I think the mountain is going to go charge some cavalry. <laughs> I just see nothing but dead men. Roll the, the white dice. The lucky one for charge speed. Right? <laughs> <laughs> lucky charge die. <laughs> lucky charge die. <laughs> so, um, how does it... So I actually uh, can't pivot any further because that palisade's in the way, so... <laughs> okay. So does that then mean like so this is my line, question let's is check for the line of sight for the unit. Right here we see that the majority of these guys actually looks like it's gonna be straight uh fifty fifty there, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So in that case it goes to the attacker. So you're gonna be hitting them in the flank if you're successful here. Okay. So oh. let's roll a dice and see what happens. A three is gonna give me eight total inches. That's it, that's in. I don't think it is. Oh, I think I need no. a nine. You yep. measure closest like to closest, nine. right? It's in. Nope. It's a nine. It's a nine? So I would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Oh, and well, I can't bring it with take me. Take the objective with me. <laughs> Why not? Ah, uh, so close. Man. Mm. <clears throat> um, I think. I might activate if it does not shift before attacking. Oh, that's far. Um, I here's what here's what I think I have to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I will I can pivot and move. I don't want to hear you like okay. I think what I'm gonna do is see where those guys end up. And I'm gonna march these guys forward. Uh so this is difficult as well, so it's minus one. Yes. Okay, and these guys will walk. There they are. Four. So they'll march eight. Minus one. Oh, I'm not on it. Because it's seven. Yep. And I'll go here. And just be out. Hanging out. Just chilling. You know, they can wait. <clears throat> Shields are heavy, but they're really protected on the flanks, so nice defensive sitch. So does uh, Edward have like any defensive abilities or are they all offensive? They are all offensive. When I make a melee attack is when they trigger. Okay, got it. So I'm going to one friendly unit, make an attack action. I'm going to select them. 
I began the turn engaged, so now I'm hitting on a two plus, and I got plus two dice, so it'll be ten. Those dice have got to go cold now. Mathematically, how many do you need? Two. It's like two threes. <laughs> yeah. You needed two. Two plus. So it's gonna be two, four, six, eight, nine. I believe in you, Richard. And you're a minus one, but that, that doesn't seem to matter. Yes, yeah, right? No, they're dead. Oh, it matters. Two, four, five. So because you destroyed a unit, you're going to get a victory point. And because the enemy commander was destroyed, you're going to get two additional victory points. So it's a push up to four. And we need to get to eight. eight. Um. I love that chart. <laughs> like that is, it is so, so fun and clever. Fun and because like you got the free chart, so you got yeah. two activations. I got two active. Like it's, it's janky. Really I love it. Uh, I'm going to march the the bowman. No, ever. And I'm gonna go here. <laughs> Boom. Okay. <laughs> it's because I rolled so poorly. No, on the, no. Or I, it's because I, I hit the. Oh, rock. sorry. They destroyed a unit. They get a free maneuver action. They're no longer engaged. They get a free pivot action. And a free maneuver. So I'm going to pivot this way. Move four inches onto the body pile. Just gonna throw minus these. Minus three. Minus one, right? I know. That's why they're normally five. Yeah, gotcha. Yep, yeah, just gonna go and throw this uh, honor guard and Eddard Stark right on the pile here. Yep. Uh. <clears throat> He's gonna put them there. Um, so then, when it's over to me, I am going to make a shoot action. So I'm going to make the pew pew action. The pew make pew. The pew, pew. <laughs> so let's go two. That's yeah, the center. There. Uh, uh, to the center. Yep. Oh yeah, you're fine. Oh, uh, you're just short. <laughs> I genu genuinely nudged mine. I think you what did. I am at. Yeah, I believe Sadly. you. So. There. Because marriages are built on there. trust, Nathan. Hey, I trust you to roll like garbage today. <laughs> it's because I was rolling so high yesterday. <laughs> now I'm rolling low to even it up. Today. Right. Um, so it's going to be seven dice with my crossbowman hitting on threes. So six at minus one because of sundering. Is this coming from the front? It the is. order shield wall. Um, so I'm going to use Order Shield Wall, and when this unit is attacked from the front, attack dice I roll automatically block, I automatically block D3 hits. I can spend dice. Uh, so take two off of there. Okay, so make four saves at minus one. Four saves at minus one. Oh. Three? Yep. And then that is... Is that a panic because they take casualties? So, uh, because you're making a panic test, hear me roar, it will be at minus one. So they usually have six, she'll need seven. Um. Oh. She got. How many do not yield? It was worth a shot. It was worth also, a shot. Also, I have another one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I had two of that same this card, so like, let's poker, do though. it. Right there. <laughs> Um, uh, I want to draw better cards, <laughs> so I have to spend them. Yeah, right. I think you've only got your Outriders I left. I do. Only, only have my Outriders left. I am going to... What do I have here? Crash into the side flank of the mountain. I could, I could pivot and then move speed and then expose my flanks and sides. Yeah. That's also the thing I could do. Um, reach across the table. Reach across the table. So I... <laughs> <That'd be funny. laughs> oh my god. There's so many archers in my boobs right now. So how do I... <laughs> oh man. I'm going to... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to charge that way. Um... Can I go? Because if I if I were to because cavalry get the free get the maneuver, maneuver before maneuver. everything, and then I'm going to, uh, yeah, spin, and then I'm going to try to do that. That that sounds. And you're the, not going to roll a one, right? 
Hi. <laughs> I, promise I promise nothing. Hey. Yay. I promise. Hello, Mountain. Uh, hello, friend. Um, so. Whew, okay, let's go. Let's do this. All right, so I get eight dice. Oof. <laughs> Why? Should have used Tywin on them. <laughs> I wanted to, I just didn't realize that she could get the charge until after she'd done that free maneuver, and I'm like, it's too late. You get a re uh, your charge, uh, <gasps> re-roll oh, the nice charge. Yeah, yes. it's just a charge roll, so re-roll yep. the one miss. Eight. Uh, oh, dude, these don't get crits, do they? Nope. No. So eight. Eight, and you're minus one is the flank. What's the defense like? Not good. What's the morale like? Also not good. Although, oh if all I do is roll sixes. <laughs> Just whatever. What a, whatever. I needed fives. What evs? <laughs> See, the tides have turned. Um, so now my panic, I did not lose a rank, but I'm at minus one because of the flank. Mm -hmm. And Gregor doesn't do anything to help me here. He does not instill morale in your guys. <laughs> Who knew? Oh, that's funny. I got a six, so that's two more. <laughs> Funny enough, there was a version of him in the past that actually did make it so you just saw him actually pass morale to us because they were more, more afraid, afraid of him. More afraid of him. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty, pretty great. But he doesn't seem like the most attentive commander, like making sure his guys are around. Do not care about the well-being of his men. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I have activated out. Trick. Yes. Yes, you are. I have... One more unit, and I just don't know if I want to go bail out the mountain or if I want to go stomp some Tully's. But they get to ablate wounds to the front, so I think that makes the decision easy. You could always just shoot them with your crossbow, man, because it's like. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, the reins of Castamere on your horses. Alana stars said that regards. All right. So you get all three. Conditions to be spent when I feel like. Is that that's all it does? Yeah. It does. Oh, you lose all abilities until the end of the round, but I don't think they have any abilities. Period. They actually have one called Swift, Swift Retreat. Swift Retreat, which means I can run away when I get attacked in melee. But they don't have that anymore. I don't have that anymore. And then I'm gonna pivot and. Boy, are we gonna be That's a long, long charge. bombing it. Over that six. Close, but not enough. That's ten. It's only gonna take me to there. That will be a failed charge, so a panic test for your unit. Really? Ooh. I mean, it's not failure charge, it is a panic test. Mad. By that much? Would I have to stop at it? Because you said I have to stay an inch away. You would actually stop the units there, so there you go. Man. What? No. Ugh. Of course it did. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. They're all mad because Eddard is dead. That's what happens to the Starks. Eddard Ooh. dies and then they're like, yeah, let's fight. Legit. <laughs> um, okay, so that's the end of the turn. No one's scoring on objectives. Move then. the round counter up. Can I discard tactic cards or should mm -hmm. I just... Yep. I'm going to discard the one that's specific to Edder. Yeah, all of Edder's cards is now, uh, unfortunately, not going to be doing you a lot of good. Garbage. God, now you're dead. Um, hmm. Let's check one other thing here. All right. <clears throat> well, I go first. So I'm going to yes. activate my mountains, man. And charge. <laughs> um. Uh, okay. I'll allow it. And I do not fail, so I'll do the pivot to make sure I get real in your butt. Gotcha. So you're uh, the honor guard. Actually, can respawn. <gasps> Just Eddard is dead. Dead. Just Eddard is dead. Dead. Yeah. What? All right. So Five I minutes. charge. <clears throat> 
That's not good. That is, that looks pretty bad, doesn't it? And I rolled a five, so I get to reroll things. So that is going to be eight. Uh, you know, mountain's been hitting you in the rear. The mountain got in the front. All the conditions. Yeah. Bunch of sixes. Oh my gosh. Jesus Christ. Do you have this side of the dice, man? They're great. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen wounds. I mean, just whatever. There's sixteen wounds in that tray. It's fine. It'll be fine. I mean, I've been saying this all week. It's like you never really need more than ten dice because statistically, you're never gonna do more than that. And, and then over here, and then like, yeah. I got five <laughs> sixes every roll. I don't know, man. <laughs> what math is this? You said fifty. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, Give uh, me three. <laughs> and you're at minus two to your defense save. Oh, that's um, wonderful. So, so sixes. I need sixes. That's and sure. I am going to make you reroll your successes. He only has three. I only have you three. Want, you want to be dead regardless. One, two, three. So now she will take 12 wounds. <laughs> well, oh, so, even though the mountains unit was involved in the combat, not possible for him. It has to be that. Yes. Okay. So um, victory point for destroying that unit. And they get a free maneuver, free pivot. Cool. That's a shame. I was hoping you shoot them in the back, though. See, I was hoping you would fail a morale save so I could get some fucking models back. <laughs> <laughs> we all want things, but right. <laughs> Um, and Terry, at least a small rainbow silver lining is that these guys did not activate, so they can be redeployed this round. Yay! They have not, uh, as they've not spent their action. All right. That is. Just don't want to get shot in the flank. Just don't want to get shot in the flank. I mean, I'd probably hail some arrows down into those south of yours. Yeah, I think I might. I think I might have to. So how many wounds do the cavalry have? Three. So by playing the vulnerable, it straight up. Yes. All right. Got it. <clears throat> so otherwise, you wouldn't have killed them, and they could have made a retreat action and gone that way, and yeah, things would have changed. What is your defense? Is that on retreat action instead of a panic check? No. No, they still would have done their panic. Yes, which they would. Oh, we'll see. They need an eight, so who knows? But you've got your nasty tricks. Yeah, 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 we got, got, we got options. Yeah. We got options. You got ways to make Stark's dead. All right, so. Boom. These are going on the Bowman. Uh, reread Roderick oh, there. Roderick, if you, oh. It's a melee for it's him, melee. I assume. Is it? Oh, if I one free, to, oh, make a free attack action, right? Oh. Yeah, but more so, it's the fact that the critical blow that he gives is to their melee attacks. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 charge, no, um, charge. You should charge. But uh, if I claim the X, uh, uh, when enemy combat becomes vulnerable. Yeah, but I'm just saying, don't equip him to. The oh, bone. don't equip him. To just the stick him anywhere else. You can stick him anywhere. Else. Oh, I can. <gasps> oh. The vulnerable is not the same thing, though. By so I don't put him on the activated unit for that right. thing. That is fascinating. And look, we have a wall yeah, token right over here. That's, that's perfect. Oh, well, we don't. That's one we don't have. Oh, that's because I guess I... we can't apply it. <laughs> yeah, so it's a vulnerable token. It's the broken shield? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I will put that on... The unit you want to shoot with bows? The... I mean, the Tullys would be the one to do it, because the rest are going to deploy and not... Not have a chance to oh, do not anything do for your critical yeah, wall. Yeah, to the, the Tullys. Here. And I'm going to... Shoot now at long range, which I am in. And if this unit does not shift before attacking, this attack rolls uh, plus four dice. Mm -hmm. This uh, attack ignores intervening units and drain. Oh man, but this guy over here. <laughs> oh, no, I'm gonna go for that. They look scarier. Mountains and they're over vulnerable. There. And they're vulnerable. And that unit's worth three victory points, too. Yeah, that's yeah, all listen, sorts of good ideas. This, this gold one, that's courtesy of Eddard Stark. One, two, three. Tywin Lannister sent his regards. Three. That's his head. That's his head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so 
Uh, arrow volley, six dice plus four. Checks out. What do you need? I needed four plus. I'm not even like mad because I have you seen the dice <laughs> on this side? Like I can't even be upset about that. I don't see your dice. I more like feel them in the soul <laughs> so of my being. So you can get the Kranid Man Warden attachment and yeah. stick it in that unit where they get to re-roll any attack dice because I haven't activated that round. Ooh. So I need four. And she enforced you to re-roll successes. Do you want me to re-roll those? I would like you to, please. That would be nice. You kill them, they just all die. Or that. Or that. Four dead. Oh. What? Panic time. It is panic o'clock. I'm at plus two because I'm minus two ranks. Is that correct? No, that's gone. Oh, okay. Well, it's good on you for remembering that. <laughs> he keeps rules like you would not believe. So eight is good. But like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just archers. Just archers. <laughs> All right. Also, uh, pull that activation uh, token off them because that wasn't there. That wasn't the that turn. Was, that was oh, Roderick going, "Hey, the shoot these guys." Yeah, yeah and right. because he, they could activate and do that again. <laughs> Ooh, good old three dice. However, they <laughs> yeah. would just become panicked. Yeah. So the halberdiers do have a very hard drop off on their last rank in exchange for not losing any until then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, it would become panic, and I'd just do D3 additional wounds straight and not have to roll. So it's still... It's still the mountain. Yeah, yeah it's still the mountain. It's End of the day, that's so, still the mountain. So, <clears throat> I'm going to charge you. Oh, he's really going to charge you. Well, he's just like oh. charging down the battlefield. Arrows oh. make me angry. <laughs> so, you are now panicked. Hmm. Panic token, yes. Um, and I'm going to roll my good old three dice, and I'm going to roll the d3, because the d3 is just wounds, because the mountain. So, that is going to be five wounds. Five wounds? Uh, two dead. Oh, and then, two dead. Uh, and hit once, but you also get your charge rerolls. Oh, oh, you're right, I do get my charge. Sorry, for some reason I thought they were three plus. But no. no. Derp! So, two dead, two armor saves. Fine. <laughs> oh, man. Two dead, you mean. That's okay. Test. It is a panic test, and you're at minus one for it. So, there's seven, they fail by one. But, Which, because she is panicked, you can force her to reroll any of those dice you want. If you want to expend You know, I just okay because. Uh, is fealty to the crown even worthwhile at this point? Sure it is. The bowmen are seven, so it's down to six because they're panicked? Well, it's up to, up to eight, eight because right. I played a card that yeah. did that to you. Um, and I'm going to heal a model back, and she will lose one. Ah! You join us now. Oh, no! How much are they paying you? They have dental? Oh, Come yeah. In. We got dental. We got dental. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. I didn't... That, that didn't feel feel good in my soul. Mm-hmm. Um, Honestly, I might just have the bowmen make a melee attack. They're still Starks. Yeah, they're not still terrible Starks. at it. <laughs> they do have a decent thing. I think they're rolling, what, five dice mm-hmm. in full ranks? They roll... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's they what roll, I was hoping to, like, maybe kill one more would have been great. Four Is it plus? five or six? I honestly don't remember. It's five or four plus. I should have put it on them. <laughs> With the <laughs> just, Now I'm like... Yeah, you were like, you should do this. And she's like, fuck, I could use it. I could use it right now. <laughs> Um, I, listen, I will do none of these. I'm really curious about Terry's cards, because... Because I am playing yeah, I a know. ton of cards, and she's played, like, one. Yeah. yeah. Um. One? One! Cool. Uh, yeah. armor on the halberd is a four. Nope, so I lose the guy that came over. <laughs> traitor! traitor! Um, my turn? Panic for Panic. Me. Oh, right. Panic for Panic! Me. Oh, let's do it. Wipe this unit out. I lose two. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, okay now. now. Is the unit gone, or does it yeah. only count as nope. gone until the mountain's gone? Doesn't matter. There's one guy left. Mountain is just part of the unit. Cool. Cool. Oh, In no. which case, let's put the, all three of those right back. <laughs> 
I see your cards? I'm just curious. Sure. I'm gonna. I've been trying to see what I can play over here just to see if he could maybe move something a little closer. Oh, I see you. I see. <laughs> That's the issue. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know what? I think would be really fun is if I. What is this charge length like? So it's from the. Some closest to closest? Yeah, yeah. So if you... But here's the thing. Your minus one speed because of the bog. bog. Have you charged so you have to roll two dice and take the lowest? Uh, so I'm... right now you would be... You would need a five. On, on twice. You twice. need two... At least two fives. Okay. Or better. So... I think it might be a situation of just, you know, the Tully's take, move on to the objective. Move on and, to just, the objective. and take... Take the two points, man. They're tanks like they are. Yeah, that's, that's kind of how I'm going to do it. I'm not afraid of... Playing charges, so I'll go. Oh, you're pretty well protected in the center there. Go. <laughs> and hope. Just just hope. There you go. I like how she decided <laughs> that I can charge her without being impeded by the bog. Like, that was just <laughs> so thoughtful. Yeah, I would have entrenched myself just right in that thing. There you go. Uh, uh, there. Alright. Yeah, but you have to charge my front. <clears throat> cool. And I don't know. I don't think you can roll any more sixes. I think the sixes are expended. So <laughs> I, she did come out, which I means did. I can't just go here for the flank. I actually have to move up, and I'm gonna shoot you. You shifted. Is it flank? I got a uh, whole lot of yeah, guys. This. All right, Terry. Uh... Oh no. Really pulling a Stark here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! There wasn't this much shooting the last time we played. There was zero shooting the last time. Edward had one job to kill those guys, and he proceeded to not do that and slice, then get killed. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I need three. Oh, oh, there we go. Man. They turned cold. I did say that, right? So that is going to be two, but I believe they're at minus two. The shield wallet. Yeah, I'll shoot Yeah, but it's it. not to their front. Oh, well, right. Not. Never mind. That's right. Sorry. To the flank. Well, need five. And you're at minus two. I can't roll with minus two beyond that, right? Because it would be sixes, right? Or do sixes automatically six? Well, oh. because I'm sundering oh, for minus right. one, and the flank right. is minus one on the armor, right? So it's right? three. It's so five. three to five. Oh, okay. So sixes two, do two dead. Sixes do succeed. No one defense saves, but... Nice. That's good to know. And a panic check. They're Tully's. I'm yeah, fine. Yeah, I love it. They're like, well, that or dying wasn't the worst thing that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We never really Caitlin's liked Caitlin's fine, right? I mean, like, really, Caitlin's the one we like. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bunch of kids. I got a bunch of kids. <sighs> All right. Let's bring on the Stark Outriders. And they're coming on. They're here. Just fooling about the being dead thing. <laughs> yeah, like right. Well, they're not activated this turn. That was last turn. So after murdering Edard, <laughs> they're tired. It was really hard. The guy who like gives up all his secrets and and tells you exactly what he's gonna do before he's gonna do it. And that last group of outriders, they got reins of Casimir. This is a completely <laughs> different group of outriders. <laughs> right. Right. I think I took all your good dice. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Give me them back. <laughs> Scan out four up here on the body. Well, that would matter more if all your units weren't on. And let's bring back the Hoberdeers. Do they still keep the honor guard card or is there a downgraded yes, that's, version of them? They're still the honor guard. You just replace that with a normal sworn sword from the, the one in the corner of the table there. Okay. Uh, here? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Here. Real good job there, Honor Guard, uh, protecting. <laughs> protecting. <laughs> they are. They are. See, I feel like Eddard didn't know that he was going to battle with the, like, the Honor Guard's night shift. Night shift? <laughs> and you don't put your best and your brightest on the night shift. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, activated, activated. I 
think, yeah, I yeah. think we're done. 50 points. Uh, I will score one. I will score two. Oh, right, because she is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, it's just... Yeah, I know. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's barely there. And there you go, wife. Uh, this is turn the fifth, to right? Two. So, funny enough now, Terry, if you actually did want to take Roderick, claim the combat zone, yeah. give the archers critical blow on their melee attack. <laughs> <laughs> it might be really fun, It right? might work. It might work, I think. Uh, but it's also, remember, you know, choose, yeah. discard any cards, draw back up. Yeah, I'm going to discard... I'll discard these two and we'll draw a couple more. These ones have pictures of a guy who no longer is with us. <laughs> In memory. <laughs> In memory. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to put Roderick. Um, oh, I, get, I can pull this out. I believe in me. Uh, well, again, like killing that mountain unit's really important. Yes, it can Although swing. It's funny enough that it's your archer's job. <laughs> Roderick's like, wait, remember what Roderick said? Like, if you get in melee, you're probably dead. Like, no, no, not that <laughs> advice. The other advice. <laughs> right. Uh, so, um, that unit is vulnerable. Got it. Are you sure you don't want my crossbowmen? No. <laughs> I will. I would like to declare nope, them as well. Oh, they're not. Oh no, it's Roderick's activation. Yeah, this is such right. an interesting thing. I love that. It's, it changes the tide so incredibly. All right, so we're playing um, a smaller size game, but honestly, if we played like standard forty points. The average is two NCU's per side, and then things oh, get really interesting. Oh, wow. All right, um, I will. That Taiwan sculpt is still one of my favorites. This game, though, I just love that. It's so cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, with the short swords. Mm. It's time to pull out that pixie luck and get some sixes. Yeah, what right. What you need? I have a six, and I needed four plus to hit. I mean, every bit matters. Five. Okay. Wealth of the rock. What does that mean? It means I'm right, saving on three plus now. But you're vulnerable, so she make you reroll. But oh, I'm aware. I but I'm know, just trying. I'm hoping. So I'm five, hoping. you said, right? Pixie luck. Listen, I'm pulling a little bigger yeah. in this one. I'm gonna invest in wins here. I will profit in the end. <laughs> all right, so I need threes. How about all that? I like that. Fantastic. One guy. I'm vulnerable. Are you gonna actually use it? I will like to use it. Yeah, please. awesome. I'm all like. Of them. You all do of the know. Ones that Maybe not. Oh, we'll see how this plays out. We'll <laughs> see. Let's just let's let it go. So two. I lose two. And you roll panic, right? Yep. This is probably what's going to get me. See, I was hoping to get a chance to jump on that first so I could have blocked the D3 first. Oh, man. We love it. Oh, Mountain no. No. Mountain, do not care. Right. <clears throat> I'm interested. Let me see your cards. There you go. You're the same ones you had last round. <laughs> Basically. It's like you don't even pitch cards. <laughs> I wish I should have shuffled this deck. Well, I mean, there's some interesting, there's some interesting plays. Opportunities, though. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I could, I could at least threat. Yep. All right. I'm lulling Nathan into a false sense of security with his. That's obviously what I'm doing, six right? Six victory point lead. <laughs> <laughs> or sorry, I mean four victory point lead, I suppose. So I... if I wanted to charge there, I would need. a Effectively a three. But if I fail to get a three, I'm in trouble. So if I make a charge action as a result of an effect on this, do I still take a panic check if I fail? Mm -hmm. I believe in you. Okay. Oh, man. I'm gonna activate the guys that are shooting you in the flank. They've <laughs> <laughs> been riding that high all game from having you know killed at her melee. And now they just think they're unstoppable. <laughs> right? Guys, it turns out these crossbows are really effective weapons. Hey, that's better than my last roll. Oh. So that is going to be four attacks, uh, saving on fives. 
No! Took four, four guys. And then I'll roll the panic. I mean, again, luckily, Tully's do not panic, but... Oh, that's right. You know, this is also the time that they would absolutely panic. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is happening, you guys? Six. 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 Oh. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling good. Activate those bowmen and have them just again use those bows to beat them out. I just have to. <laughs> I have no other play though. Like, um, go. I mean, those sworn shields have been doing a really bang up trooper job of taking a lot of crossbows to the flanks <laughs> and not dying. Again, I'm gonna... That's what they're there for. There. Yeah, yeah. I am going to. Um. Yeah. Let's let's roll it. Um. I just feel like the idea five. of that crossbow guys literally just beating them out to death. They still... <laughs> like... <laughs> the longbows, yeah, beating them out to death. Fantastic. I hit a four plus. Oh boy. No, no Roderick training there though. No, no, this is on that one though. This I is. I don't care what Roderick said. Just keep hitting it until he stops moving. And he does. There you go. That that three victory three points for victory Terry. Points. Thank you. And the bowmen get to. Uh, uh, maneuver. Oh. Which is very interesting because they're near that palisade there that they can just straight up ignore when they're shooting. Mm. So. so I get to maneuver? Yes. Yeah, you get to maneuver. Whoa. Okay. Where did I put my measuring? Maybe it's there. Yes. We'll go. We'll pivot. They won't move. How many are standing the bomb? Five. Whoo! Walk. Straight go. into Gambon. I just enjoy like every the objective. She <laughs> barely wants to touch it with anything. Whereas me, I'm just like, what objective? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, but I don't go shifting it around like it's, it's a hockey it's puck. Well, it's easy. You just bring the objective with, <laughs> with you. you. All right. <laughs> now, also noting again, Nathan, these guys did not activate yet, so. Yeah, that's you know, true. You have a unit of halberdiers. That, that can come in in the rear of the archers. <laughs> because I have this one. Yep. Um, however, let's have some fun. So I'm going to put down on... This game's not about fun. This game... The money bag. <laughs> games are serious oh, no. Business. Never mind. Damn it, I can't. Oh because... God. She killed the mountain. <laughs> so both of these cards are dead. <laughs> no, they can still be played. It's Eddard's cards specifically are always that activating on his unit, but yeah. that's why... Oh, okay, so I still have them even though he's dead. Yes. Okay, in which case I am going to do that. And that's I'm again like just something to note about this game mode is that specifically Eddard, like, he... He's bad for this mission. Well, he gets an extra bit of importance in this one specifically because of the way it because of the way the, the game mode cool. interacts with his character. So, uh, I replaced the effects of that with... Uh, Make a free charge action and roll plus two dice if I make it. So I think archers are where I would like to go. You killed the mountain. Get them. You know, I'll just roll the dice. And then we'll learn after. Be surprised. Three. Three. That should uh, be enough. I need an eight, so yeah, that is going to make it. Dunk. So now this is contested and no one has it? No, she still claims it. First! Oh, yeah. It's first first claim has it. Got it. Of course, if she's dead, she's not claiming it anymore. And, Indeed. Uh, so I get ten dice. <laughs> I believe in you guys. Boom. These are bowmen who killed the mountain. Yeah. Okay. Legit. Yeah. With they their have, swords. They have been pummeling the mountain for like four rounds. They're like, it's been working. I believe in them. I needed three, so let's re-roll. <laughs> Two, Whatever. four, six, eight, ten, and twelve wounds. Okay, just uh, that's twelve dice you've got there. No. Oh. Okay. Because the, the brutal. This was ten. Okay. So I'll take two more, and I'll just roll those ones. I don't like that because those are very good dice. <laughs> you roll the sixes out of them. And See? what's your what what's your armor? Four? Five. Oh, I like that better. Two, four, six, eight, dead. Oh. 
That's a victory point for Nathan. Oh. Well, there's nine of them, so it's a panic check. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was ten that got killed there. Uh, no, I know she rolled twelve. Yeah. Yeah. One guy. There's one, one guy. <laughs> now, unfortunately, your attack is vicious, so it's giving a minus two to her panic test. Ouch. Oh, you're right. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I'm out. We killed the mountain. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> a victory point for Nathan. And I will win at the end of the turn. You will win you at the end of the turn. Yeah. Well, because I'm claiming two right now, and I'm at seven. Oh, right. Oh. Unless you can get you off those. Both of them. That one's going to be a little tricky. <laughs> the Tullys could, well. No. It through the bog. Yeah. yeah. I mean, again, I there are things. Actually, hold on. How do you get a free maneuver? I do get the free maneuver. Um. I push forward. Well, hold on. I have a card that can give me a free charge, but this fucks that up. Otherwise, I'd slam right into there and go fuck him up. So, I love the palisade. With my maneuver, I'm literally just going to hide myself. <laughs> That's an interesting strategy. That's good. That's well, now the amazing. Tullys can't get to me. Yep. No, no, no. Listen, if that palisade were not there, I would have turned around, charged your Tullys, and probably blown through them too. I believe you. Because um, Gregor's cards are Gregor like. Horrifying. <laughs> oh, man. There's not subtle. <laughs> Yeah, so did you see what happened to your archers? Eddard should have done that here. Yeah. <laughs> but something went horribly wrong. I, so they did shoot. I am going to declare a charge to my calf. My calf get to do the maneuver first, right? Yep. So they move. I'm not going to pivot them, but I'm going to move them six. And so then pivot. It's going to be a front charge no matter what. You don't have... Yeah. The space to maneuver into a flank. And I am going to play Devastating Impact. Oh, yeah? A unit may reroll the charge distance die, and their attacks deal plus two additional automatic hits. You should have been playing that a lot earlier. <laughs> I only do it now, okay? <laughs> Michael's been looking at my cards going, what? I'm going to reroll that. that. Fuck off. <laughs> Is seven close enough? Oh, plus minus the range. You gotta go minus one. What's your normal speed? Six. Yeah, you'll make it. I can do it Oh, again. no. Yeah, because it would be seven minus one through the... Yeah, because I'm not going to Can she just here? clip and that's fine? It's as long as she contacts, it doesn't In matter. In which case, she's yeah, fine. Yeah, I mean, you make it. Oh, the one is... <laughs> but mostly now it's And then the... she'll line up to 50% there. Or 100 or... No, it's only... Uh, is it 50 or 100? Or 100, yes. Your choice. Yeah, I'd say Actually, you know what? I'll keep fifty percent. Say as politely as I can, but this this game was kind of been a uh, like a example of stark ineptitude as far stark. as oh, being totally. able to successfully oh, do things. All right, we'll go there. Um, yes. So, <laughs> yes. I rolled two ones for the freaking charge distance. It's not a good omen. Um, they rolled two ones, and I rolled a one. Like you have rolled an unbelievable <laughs> amount of ones on your charges. I will. Um. I will roll eight dice. You automatically take... It's plus two automatic hits, so whatever she rolls, then, plus two more. Yeah, plus two automatic wounds, so eight. Now, do you not get additional dice for the card, or is it is eight your, your thing? Because I thought you said the card gave you more. Plus two hits. Plus That's two hits. Oh, okay, got it. <sighs> now, uh... Frick. You don't get your charge rerolls as well because that was a disorderly charge because of one. Uh, <laughs> what did they hit on? Three scores? Oh my god! Sorry! <laughs> uh, uh, I, I got nothing. I, got nothing. <laughs> I mean, even Michael cheating can't help you with <laughs> those dice. You. I lose two. Is that a panic? Well, everything's a panic. <laughs> Is that a panic? Uh, do I take an Additional modifier because of cav, or is it just no, the corpse pile that was giving you a minus one? So I need an eight. Ooh. Ooh. That's the last you rank, might, isn't you it? You might have been able to kill that unit had uh, oh, everything, yeah. everything else not gone terribly. Oh. Listen, had I only rolled a six, 
Or are you, are you talking about Terry? Mm-hmm. Uh, the combination of the charge, the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. re-roll. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> that's a thing. Um, might as well just activate them. Because I do have hold the line. So on my four dice. Oh, which is six dice. So I get six dice hitting on twos. Is ba- why uh-huh. I will do it into your cavalry. Can you take the, the bad ones? Nope. <laughs> take the dice I will. They are married to you right now. <laughs> uh, oh my and of course, just the mountain of sixes. The mountain of sixes. Two, four, six, seven. That's how you fight. <laughs> <laughs> Not one. No. Oh, they love it. Uh, What's their armor save? On these guys? Four. Two, four, five wounds. So one dead, two wounds on the last cavalry, or a uh, second cavalry. Okay, so two on here. And vicious, so a panic and minus at minus two. two. Minus three because of the corpse pile. So plus you, have, you have plus three, yeah, with Eddard. Uh, nine. We'll so you take one more. One more wound, which will be the third one there. Now she can activate swift retreat, though, and get a free yes. retreat action. Yes, I will. Um. I'm sure you don't want to hang out. <clears throat> I can go. So when I we have your lord, so when you retreat, it's your speed plus a d6. plus d6 and a pivot. Straight back and then a pivot. I assume. Yes. Uh, do I count as rough from retreating back as well? Ooh, so, so minus eight. one. Uh, all right. So we'll go. Those guys are scary. <laughs> no one told us they had Edard with them. He looks kind of dead. <laughs> He's kind of dead. What's wrong with that? Dead. Ned? Dead art. Dead art. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about puns. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Uh, okay. Let's see here. I mean, at this point, it's just a matter of uh, Starks going down fighting. Because yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to. But only things have been drastically different. <laughs> <laughs> only things have been completely different than hey. what they are. You start. Oh, it's your turn, isn't it? Did you just attack me, though? Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, my bad. (laughs) What are you hating me for? Just take all the turns. Sir? Um. Oh, man. Reigns of Castamere is amazing. Oh, okay. So what I love about Tywin is he can be either. Because he's good at both. (laughs) I love it. Like, I, I love those details. Because, like... I know, like, last year you were talking about, like, you had ideas, but all the ones that, that you had was, like, oh, Cersei or Sansa, charge. or, like, the obvious non-combatants. Yeah. Oh, that was just me not telling you stuff. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Eddard has a non-combat <laughs> version as well. Mm. That's, uh... Is it every time he picks something you get half the effects because he's fucking terrible at this side <laughs> of the game? <laughs> can't do anything. All right. Every time he picks something, an enemy unit gets to activate it. <laughs> He's just replace, bad. Replace the effect with enemy gets to do, you know. You know. <laughs> I'm going to march because I'm done. These guys only move freaking five, five. Only, only the average five. Ugh. It means that, like, you, even on a six, no. you can't hail Mary the charge. So I'm going to go here. March. Make the last turn look really We're pretty. Get um, back. We'll save him. We'll save him. <laughs> Does anybody he know might not CPR? Be dead yet. <laughs> that's CPR. Um, and then my halberds would come on somewhere, and then at the end of the turn, she gets two, putting her up to seven, seven. and I get two, putting me up to nine. Ugh. Yeah. And that'd be victory for Lannisters. Although, even looking at that, you know, Terry's monumentally terrible <laughs> rolls, still seven to nine score at the end. Well, yeah, because I mean, like, she ended up getting four there, and yeah, I, I was capitalizing on mistakes, not playing the scenario. So instead of trying to push them off, I mean, I was going to shoot you off, but <laughs> <laughs> that was working. That was... <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that gave up four. Could have potentially, if I failed to finish them off, because I have no means of getting at them, mm-hmm. given her another two for six. So you, you're right. Like, it, it is very much a it's thing. It's so tight. So tight. Awesome. Oh. Unfortunately, Edder just careening himself into the middle of the enemy lines. Did round two, and he should have blown through 
these guys have been in a position to maneuver to face the mountains men, and yeah. when he didn't blow through anything, <laughs> that became very problematic, and that that's what bogged him down and turned it. We flagged it to IT. Yeah. We're still waiting on the ticket to come back. Man. So, that was the game, and we are going to act like we played the whole thing, and we know the outcome, because we are not filming this ahead of time. Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> models died, trays were moved, it Man. was carnage. It was, oh, lots quite of... A lot, quite a lot of stuff happened. <laughs> lots of stuff happened. But thank you so much for watching, Michael. Thank you so much for running this for us. I am so grateful, and I am so delighted by this game, honestly and truly. It is uh, it is so exciting for me to, to get into universe, and you opened the door for me personally uh, into, like, ranked battle games, which I thought like my brain could not manage before, but now um, the way you've distilled it is is so beautiful and elegant, and I am, I'm so excited to get into it. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Terry, and as always, good talking to you. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I will see you soon. Cheers.